What is up everyone, this is FNH here with a brand new video talk about how to fix your corrupted data in your PS4. So you may see uh, as the screenshot I see show you right now on the screen, something s similar to that when you're like playing a game or like on your home screen, you see something that says corrupted data and it may be impacting certain games that you're trying to play. Um, you may be also getting errors like CE37732-2 or NP-32062-3, which could be indicating that you know you have corrupted data and I'm, I'm gonna show you like how to walk you through this and how to fix this is actually very simple very easy to do um, I have actually gotten this on my saved errors before uh, it usually happens on saved errors because that can get corrupted and again once the game tries to load and it tries to load that same error like it could be an autosave like simple think of something like Skyrim and whatnot trying to load that error it will just crash the game and not end up playing uh, it's actually a fairly simple fix and I'll walk you through how to do that and then how to fix if it's a database error uh, that one is a different walkthrough but let me talk about like how to do it and it's actually pretty simple to like do how to fixing this uh error so you can do this manually what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings you're going to scroll to system storage management um and again you can follow exactly on the screen how it's happening here you're gonna go to you're gonna click into the media player and you're gonna go to the save data portion because this is what's most likely corrupted. If it's the game itself, you can obviously just delete the game and reinstall the game and you'll end up being fine. But it usually doesn't say corrupted data for a game. It's usually the save data that gets corrupted uh, for it within the game. So again, it's it's a little slight difference in between the two and how it ends up happening. So you're gonna go into it and you're gonna delete the corrupted data. So let's say it's whatever game it is, you go into the media player or watchdogs or whatever it is, you click onto the corrupted data and then you delete them basically and you should be good now this may end up killing a save that you possibly had which is still fine you rather have the save deleted and do a previous save um, it might not even delete the save it might just be the save that was initially trying to be created it corrupted and then the legitimate save was saved <laughs> correctly and accurately and again it can it can fall into those weird situations but definitely follow that and you should be able to go and basically end up fixing it so now the next thing is if you end up got, getting a uh, like a database error you need to initialize your ps4 reinitialize it so uh, i've so talked about this before as well it's a fairly simple and easy trick to do uh, you hold your playstation 4's power button or press it depending on which ps4 you have you hold it for like 30 seconds or less i believe it'll beep uh, you'll hear like a couple beeps and then you'll turn into the safe mode of the ps4 it looks something in this screen in here you're gonna have to do number five this happened to my friend when he was playing call of duty he kept getting um database is not stable database is corrupted you need to uh, rebuild your database blah 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 so you obviously have to be sure and considerate of that and take it down that step first you know like so definitely do the safe mode thing do the rebuild database and once you do that it'll essentially rebuild the playstation 4's database it'll check for any corrupted data any content in there and it'll automatically fix it and you should be good to go from there this doesn't delete anything on your system this doesn't do any harm for you this is not like you're reformatting your ps4 so this is a good safe route to try first before going down the route of reformatting your ps4 and deleting everything from your ps4 for. So I would highly recommend you doing this um, if, if you ha are getting this uh, database error. Uh, so yeah, um, overall, guys, I do hope you found this helpful and informative. If you did, smash the like button. If you guys are still stuck, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to walk you through and help you out as much as I possibly can. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, like, you know, just let me know, man. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. And that, FNH out. Peace.